What's great about Hanover is that it's a place that really prizes and values teaching and learning. One of my favorite things to do is to analyze the popular media, so like especially music and film and television, and trying to kind of figure out how those types of media messages create meaning in people's lives. I think if you want to get better at something, you need to be sort of the small fish in the big pond in the sense that like you're surrounded by people who are better at it than you are. Dr. Bill Bettler's interest in pop culture, specifically in music, led him to explore his passion through relationships he has built in the community and on campus. Bill, Bill's music and his passion for music was pure. Bill was a really wonderful hobbyist. Uh, the, the funny story that brings me together with Bill is I met a guy named Jack Wilhelm who was kind of moving and shaking on a couple of music boards here in town and he knew other people that loved music like we did and he uh, said, man, you gotta meet my friend Bill. Yeah, I think you'd really get along with him. He uh, introduced us and we just took off immediately as friends. When I was in graduate school at Purdue University, I had an internship that where I helped bring entertainment to campus. And we actually brought Robert's band, the Mavericks, to play at Purdue. And I met Robert then, he doesn't remember me. Bill booked the Mavericks when he was booking uh, bands at his college and he booked the Mavericks and he had some distinct memories, uh, uh, some funny anecdotal stories about uh, us being there. He was kind of at the height of his, or near the height of his fame at that time. So it's kind of interesting that our paths crossed at that time in the 90s. But then Jack introduced us and we started singing together in a very modest way right here in this room. It was an amazing musical collaboration. Our voices just blended and there was this chemistry. You know, I mentioned it earlier with my teaching about like surrounding yourself with someone who's better so that you can improve. It's totally the same with music. I, Dr. Bill, but I call him Bill. Bill has become a, a really deep and important friend to me. And um, I admire what he does as a, uh, as a professor. I've had a chance to see him with his students and I know the knowledge he can share. I know his gift. My favorite thing, hands down, is the interactions and the collaborations with students. Dr. Bill Bettler found a way to combine his love for teaching and passion for music by forming a band with students right here on campus. So the band um, started when Craig Phillip came here to teach. Um, he followed me by about four or five years, I think. So I think we've been doing this for close to 15 years. Someone told me, you know, oh, you gotta meet Dr. Phillip, he plays the bass. You know, I know you play the guitar, well, you guys should get together. And that's what we did. And we started brainstorming like, well, how can we fill out the rest of this band? And we thought, well, what about students? And it just happened to kind of, it was over the summer and it matched up with like, Student Life always puts out this request, like, do you wanna do some special activities with some of the um, incoming first year students? during the August experience, Dr. Philip and I had this idea like, what if we just sort of had a fun jam session? You know, it was kind of sneaky in a way because, I mean, it was a jam session and it was fun, but we were looking for potential band members and we found a fair number of our people that way. So the current name of the band when we finished up was The Men's Room. And it, there's kind of a story here because Lauren Bowers was the singer. So we kind of took her initials and it looked kind of like elbow. So we thought, oh, elbow room. So we called the band Elbow Room. Well, then she graduated and then Molly joined and we, saw, we thought, okay, well, we'll call it Room for Molly. Anyway, we were Room for Molly for a while. And then Tristan Green joined and we became the Green Room. And then Tristan graduated and um, these two amazing guys, Max and Jared joined and we looked around and realized it was Craig and Jared and Max and Bill. We were all guys. It's like, oh, now we're the men's room. I think it was one of the fraternities sponsored a, a talent show and our band entered the talent show and we won. And that just sort of launched this whole thing. On campus, we, we've played at the Shoebox pretty regularly. We've also played at functions at the Campus Center and at the Science Center. Most recently, a kind of our sort of home place to play has been the Mad Paddle. Um, brewer, microbrewery. We've been really blessed to, to keep the band going really for about 15 years. It's really interesting because obviously it's a different dynamic than the classroom, but some of the same principles are at work. I mean, because we talk about things like challenge 
and, and commitment, I think, is a really important one because these students who are in our band have to really balance things because a lot of times they have schoolwork and sometimes they even have an extra job or something and then having the responsibilities of the band and because we try to rehearse pretty regularly and we try to keep it at a certain level to be really professional. We really tried to treat it like a teachable moment and you know frame it that way for the students. Every version of the band and every person who's ever been in the band there have been really special moments with them.